Today, let's talk solder stencils. This here is the PCB of my balancing robot. And last week I had an issue. I was preparing to present my things at a Mega Fair. And one of the things that I wanted to show there was that people could uh, solder their own, uh, reflow solder their own PCB. But the PCB solder sensor was missing. So I had to make something creative. Uh, what I ended up with is um, uh, using paper and Kapton tape, which adds up to 150 microns. And it's perfectly uh, laser cuttable, as you can see. Uh, the, re the durability isn't great, like you can use it 10 times, and then you need a new one. But who cares, because you can cut a new one for 10 cents. Uh, I think this is uh, very nice because you can uh, quickly make any solder stencil and you don't need to, uh, to buy the expensive stainless steel ones, uh, which are quite over-engineered if you use them only a couple of times. So in this video I want to show you the process and show you that it's quite easy. Uh, so from Kaika to laser cutter. So first, if you have a PCB, file and plot. Then we select DXF. We deselect all of the layers in the left column except for the bottom dot paste because that's where the solder stencil is. Plot on all layers. And be sure to include the actual cuts because then we have our outline. The units we set to millimeters. Uh, that's basically it. So, plot. Oh, why not? Then we go to light burn. Uh, here we are. Then go to file import. And this is the folder that I exported the DXF to. And now I rotate this to align with the work piece that I have. There we go. I need to position it correctly because uh, otherwise it won't fit into my laser cutter. Should be right like this. Uh, now I select the inner layers to have a different color because I want to cut those first. And let's say that uh, 1200 millimeters per minute at 60% power cuts it. Probably less is uh, good as all. This is a uh, 10 watt laser cutter, diode laser cutter. For some reason, KiCut exports a double line, so I remove the inner contour and then we are good to go. So now I press start, and there we go. It's cutting the pads right now. And when it's done with that, it will start cutting the outline. There we go. Time to get it. That's a stencil. So apparently I used way, way too much power, but it's about the ID. Also, I should have mirrored it. Well, that's what, what you get when you do a single take. But you can see we also have the outline. And we can very quickly make a solar stencil. So although the result isn't perfect, it's about the ID. Uh, I should optimize the cut settings, I don't have them readily at hand, but yeah, it's for sure is powerful enough and uh, it's a very cheap way to make your own solar stencil.